So if we look down into the ground, it's red clover, buttercups, yarrow, daisies, dandelions, plantains, all kinds of things. Now, we've got such a good crop of buttercups this year because during the drought last year, the horses were in here. And this is called a horse soured paddock. But given this another year, next year, there won't be as many buttercups because I'll change my rotation to suit a different kind of, see over here, there isn't a buttercup problem. There's only a few, but that slope was very dry during the drought or the dry spell last year and the horses were grazing it. So that's why there's so many buttercups. Here they like to eat the lime tree leaves. In here, there's also loads of cleavers. They love cleavers. Look at that. Isn't that right, Aggie? It's such a cleanser. It's a really good herb that's so nutritious in all kinds of things they need as sheep. So they're eating the lime tree leaves around the base of the tree. And then all these cleavers, they will devour, as well as this cow parsley. Now the cow parsley, at the moment you can see they're beginning to, these top ones are beginning to form seeds. But the sheep will eat most of this all the way down to about here on the stem. Then they will use these stems to smash their heads on them. And that spreads the sap around their heads and acts as a fly repellent. Look, you can see that yo over there is um, eating the cow parsley already. So it'll love eating the cow parsley. And um, then they will use the sap and the lower end as fly repellent. It's not fly repellent for humans. Let me emphasize that. It's fly repellent for livestock. All livestock likes the fly repellent of the cow parsley and will rub their faces in it. So going through here, out from under the tree, there's, here's Coxfoot. Let me change the focus. This is, here's Coxfoot, a really deep rooted grass. And <clears throat> here are the yos, oh, sorry, the lambs out in this section. Now here was not as dry last year when the horses were grazing. You can see there where Crystal is, there's a load more buttercups. That was a dry spell. So there's some kind of compaction there. And that's due to the horses. But the sheep are loving it. And down below in there are beech trees that we planted. And here, these trees here are a group of alder trees around the felled oak. Look at Crystal, surrounded in the yellow buttercups. They look so beautiful grazing in the buttercups. And then there's other ones grazing underneath the lime tree. They're eating the cow parsley, the cleavers, etc. Oh, and the lo tender lime tree leaves. That yo right there. Is munching away on the lime tree leaves. This is what grazing biodiversity is like. Woo! Somebody flushed a pheasant. Gave the lambs all the fright. <laughs> They're all like, what was that? Oh, a hen pheasant. 
Hopefully that doesn't mean there are chicks in here. Inca, bear. Are there chicks in here? Inca? Hopefully there's not chicks. Okay, I better take you guys out just in case there are chicks here. Okay, come on. Bear, leave it. Or did you find eggs and you've just eaten them? Oh, you're really bold if you have. Is there a nest in here somewhere in this long grass? Okay. Inca, leave it. I can't see it. It's better to take the dogs out now. But look at that. Oh, that is just so beautiful to see. All these sheep. They don't know what to eat. Cleavers, lime tree leaves, cow parsley. This lamb here has been munching on the cow parsley. Look at her, munch, 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 munch. She's loving the leaves of the cow parsley. Yep, and there she goes for a bit of lime treat. Now she's probably reaching down and grabbing a bit of cleaver. So it's a rotation of three delicious fresh foods. Oi, Brindle, get out of there. Come on, leave them be. They're having a lovely time. Munching all kinds of herbs and goodness. I always love seeing this. They don't know what to eat. There's so much variety. saying hello to the you munching a cleaver another cleaver nibbling some lime leaves lime tree leaves This is totally what I enjoy about farming this way. Farming with nature and biodiversity and the sheep having a lovely time with a broad spectrum, diverse diet. Here's loads of speedwell. Lovely blue speedwell. And some daisies and inca. And all the lambs get to eat what they like. There's more speedwell. Look at all the blue speedwell. I love speedwell. So beautiful to see it in the field. all that blue speed well and then all the lambs the yeah, are all up underneath that lime tree Ah, oh, this is my idea of heaven.
So eating amongst the mushrooms. She just grazed over some mushrooms. Here's a rye grass. That's a rye grass. There's some fescues, some timothies. I love seeing the grasses against the sheep's black fleece, the different seed heads. Ah, bear. So much choice, they don't know where to eat. These guys have found this selection of cow parsley over here. <laughs> 